into headlines. Manipur celebrates Mera Chawral Hauba, which falls on first day of lunar month of Mera. And Chief Minister N. B. Rain launches flight service of Imphal to Tezu and Gohati. And site selection completed for construction of five-star hotel to be built with a Tata Group, says Chief Minister N. B. Rain. And mass anti-drug drive carried out at Nacho Village. And Manipur locks two fresh COVID infections a day after reporting zero case, active case load drops to 16. COVID-19 naging akthok na ba? Miyam na sapo na to ina kut hambiu. To protect from COVID-19, wash your hands with soap frequently. Marks ning tina niyom chum na upiu. Whenever you go out of your house, wear mask properly. Amadi mi amaga mi amaga di marakta fit taruklap na hambiu. Always keep six feet distance from other people. Hello and very good evening, viewers. I'm Darlung Shankaling, giving you the news in detail. Mera Charil Hobot, the festival which falls on the first day of the month of Meratha, the seventh month in the Manipuri lunar calendar, was celebrated at different parts of the state. Lining Tau Sanamahi Temple Board, Utra Sanglen Sanakonung and Umang Lai Kanbal Loop jointly celebrated the religious festival with a procession that was carried out from Sanamahi Temple Complex to the religious site of Kangla. The religious procession was led by King Sanajawale Shemba and it concluded at Nungdring Pukri of Kangla. Emily of Kairau Assembly constituency El Ramesh Ormite too attended the procession as a devotee. Speaking to media persons, King Le Shemba Sanajawa informed that since time immemorial, hill and valley people have been jointly celebrating Mera Jaurel Hopa. On the occasion, he wished for peace and prosperity to prevail amongst the communities residing in Manipur. The religious procession was followed by a program held at Sanamahi Laibung and was attended by MP of Rajya Sabha, Sana Jawbalai Semba, Social Welfare Minister Ait Dingo and Emily of Kairau Assembly Constituency and Vice President of Lining Thau Sanamahi Temple Board, Laurembam Rameshwar Mite. Minister H. Dingo also spoke about Sanamahi religion. Chief Minister N. B. Rain launches the fly big flight from Imphal to Tezu at the Bir Tekindrajit International Airport, Imphal. Director of Corporate Affairs, Fly Big Airlines, S. Jashra, President of BJP Manipur Pradesh, A. Sharda, Works Minister Govindas Kontaljum, and Transport Minister 
Kasim Vasum to attend the launch of function. Speaking on the occasion, the Chief Minister maintained that under Udan scheme, which is an initiative of Prime Minister Narendra Modi, the state will be connected to Arunachal Pradesh by the flight, fly big flight. The flight will directly fly to Tezu in Arunachal Pradesh and then to Gohati. With such an initiative, connections among peoples of Northeast states will become closer, he added. He continued that this would not only increase people to people connections but also bring growth in businesses and in the tourism sector. Regarding the Imphal to Bangkok flight service, the Chief Minister informed that Imphal to Bangkok via Gohati will start its operation soon. However, the direct flight from Imphal to Bangkok is still under consideration calculating the volume of passengers from the state. <laughs> Akoi machine si itanagar da arunachal da sakin hai bata problem hoy nilo. Wadi ona bohana bata hoy wadi bodi Delhi sabu ke hap kano lai bani na kharabu kare. Silsar ki aizol ki samaram dekh par. Ado na shidi onar prime minister nere the mujhe ki maan ki aman da vision ki bata da Uran scheme hogu akanda. Mashi uji ki amon infal jo itanagar Tezu direct arunachal direct then Guwahati no mid kuringi lai gori ne. Ado jay koi ki arunachal dekh koi jay nakshan naba samar koi nakshan naba. Problem <laughs> Chief Minister N. Birin announced that setting up of Manipur's first five-star hotel will be done with the support of Tata Group while site selection for the construction has been completed. The Chief Minister made the announcement during the inauguration of Hotel Imolish, which is located opposite GP Women's College. Works Minister Govindas Kontaujan, Kontaujan ex-MLA O. Henry, Chairman of Hotel Imolish, Dr. Irom Nalini to grace the inaugural function as dignitaries. Addressing the gathering, the the chief minister expressed that a politician should always work tirelessly to provide people with a quality life, safeguarding human rights and making agreements for the people to be self-sustaining in their occupation. As such, Prime Minister Narendra Modi has taken up various welfare schemes for the people of the country to and ensure its accessibility at micro level, he added. Continuing that under the guidance of Prime Minister, the state government has been putting all efforts to bring a change in the state. The <laughs> chief minister mentioned that an institute of hotel management had been opened recently. The government had also provided IT training to around 2,000 youths, out of which oh, around 100 youths have been placed in the sector. He also maintained that many foreign tourists are willing to visit the state considering its scenic beauty, weather, decency of people and the taste of its cuisine. He added that the hotel demolished was being inaugurated at the right time as many tourists are visiting the state for the upcoming Shanghai festival. <laughs> Magi business, magi profession to the Hotel gi, thabuk to also nana. Masagi self sustained to bungam bagi. Adu gi, potu pi na na bani. Aikho na. Khon je. Quality life people namre di kari kani. Politician namu ei bagi koi praja asim gu nungai na fajna with respect, human rights violation le handa ba. Me ma na me ma the people have respect. Security na ei gera, police na ei gera. Ei ba. Lamshat behavior thakshi kashi. Adu ki namukta ni. Honorable Prime Minister Narendra Modi ji na ta ei ba magi. Makhal makhagi schemes by kala ei ba mehs. Bisnupur District Anti Drug Campaign, Nacho Educational, Social and Development Youth Athletic Club, and Nacho Open Bamaira Paibi Loop carried out drive against use and sale of drugs at Nacho Village, which falls under jurisdiction of Bisnupur Police Station. 
Convener of ADC, Tokchom Atoba Roman, President of NESD YAC, B RK Bimol, leaders of local Mayra Paibi, volunteers and local residents were among those who conducted the anti-truck drive. A team of police personnel led by SI of Bisnupur District Police Anil also extended support to the drive. During the drive, a total of 13 individuals, including a resident of Potsangbom and four from Bisnupur were caught with narcotic substances and they all have been handed over to Bisnupur police. Now giving you the latest update on COVID-19 all over India and Manipur. Manipur witnessed two COVID cases out of 150 samples tested for the virus. The total cumulative number of COVID-19 in Manipur has reached at 1,39,807. In the same span of time, eight persons recovered from the virus. On the other hand, Manipur reported zero death from COVID and as such, the death toll remained at 22,148.1,000. 37,643 people have recuperated from COVID in the state so far. The active caseload has dipped to 16. India reported around 4,129 new COVID cases and 20 deaths in the last 24 hours, the Health Ministry data stated on Monday. India's active caseload has declined to 43,115, while total number of COVID cases is more than 4.45 crore with 5,28,530 fatalities so far. 4,688 patients have recovered in the last 24 hours and the cumulative tally of recovered patients is now at 4 crore 40 lakh 298. Consequently, India's recovery rate stands at 98.72%. India's COVID-19 vaccination coverage has exceeded 217.68 crore. In connection with Seva Pakwada, two-day free health camp was organized under the aegis of RD and PR Minister Yumnam Kimchan at Mapam Village, Chang Jammu village and Kayang village, remote village of Kamjong district. A medical team consisting of 20 doctors and other medical staff of state health department provided medical treatment and free medicines during the camp, which was held on September 24th and 25th. On the other hand, Minister Yumnam Kim Chan also handed over 40 beds to the authority of Kayang Primary Residential School. Minister Yumnam Kim Chan and his wife were accorded a warm welcome by the villagers and head of Mapum village, Jammu village and Kayang village. Speaking to media persons, Minister Yumnam Kim Chan informed that the two-day free health camp was the first ever health camp organized by the government in the areas. He also assured that the government will give emphasis on the development of these villages. <laughs> Chief of Kayang Village, A.S. Wungam, was elated that the health camp was organized for the villagers. In the presence of Minister Kim Chan and the villagers have availed medical treatment as well as free medicine from the camp. He further highlighted the challenges and inconvenience faced by the villagers over shortages of healthcare facilities. The chief sought attention of the government to set up either a primary health sub-center or a primary health center in the area, considering the plight of the villagers. Ashida Doctor Modin Kun Puraga in Fadiga Larga Equi Anang Shingbu Anjingbu Medical Treatment PBC Ashikumba facility PBC Equi Kungi history da area history da medical came Ashman to PBC first time ne Ashi historic ne hiding a I see Kundeshe Equi Anang Hu Yam lay a Equi Kunjashi in a lay a or if you Doctor Amashulete, Hospital Ra, PSC Ra, Primary Health Subcenter, Amashulet of Nigo, Dispensary Kumbusha Amashulet of Ni, Anabak Kumbakrit of Rubdi, Tarek Ukru, Natrobi Infal, 
Uh, it's difficult this year. Especially uh, women sing delivery. She as as she as she come to talk about difficulties. Yam pangi as any government dear health facilities pangi ngai as she the pesira dispensary ra kira ama thamraga doctor thamraga nurse thamraga atu kumbha facility pibishi atu pam pam. Villagers of Haikak Mapal Awang Lekai has warned of launching start unless the residents living on southern side of Dolai Thabi Barrage is given prior not notification about the release of water from the barrage. The villagers informed that the villagers who have no access to water supply from Dolai Thabi Barrage have been depending on Iril River for irrigation. The water pumps are usually kept on the riverside and at least 10 persons are needed to carry around these water pumps. When Dolai Thabi Barat suddenly released water from the midnight of 25th September, the water pumps placed on the riverside have all been flooded. The villagers informed that they approached the staff of Dolai Thabi Barat to give prior notice for releasing water. The staff denied their request. They urged the authority concerned to address their demand, otherwise warned of intense action. ขุชาวนรพประชาชนนี่เนี่ยสรุปก็ตากระดิ <laughs> Under the supervision of CPI Manipur State Council, Irabot Celebration Committee Manipur observed the 71st death anniversary of Lamyanba Hijam Irabot as State Mourn Day at Irabot Bhavan. Remembering the day Lamyanba Irabot took his last breath on this day, that is September 26, in 1951, and calling for concerted efforts to uphold the ideals of the leader, the attendees led by State Secretary of CIA, CPI Manipur State Council, L. Toyer offer floral tributes at the statue of Lamyan by Irabot. Former State Secretary of CPI Manipur State Council Sotin Kumar was also present on the occasion. L. Thoyren stress on the importance of tracing the footprints of the leader. September September Makatana, Lusing Vasina Yalamiva, Manaba Kunaigi, Hamazado, Porknova Honabada, Lusing Vasina Pamamiva, Lambiedo, Mother Makatan, Putanabakuna, or Nation Mandan, Pantu Sabani, Manaba Kunai Hareta Manaroga Hare Managada Venati, Manaba Kunai, my Yumpa Mamale, Social Ownership in the Means of Production, Potoki Pampi Punama, Miamna, Sarkarna, like part of Mapuiva, Samazgi, Pandamamani, Ramagi, Samaz, Sigi Pandamdi, how to meet. The need of the society. Some as the Drakarwari, but could you make Sana Tanaba, Shena in Nava, Lady Nava, Drakarwiba, Naraga Yerlaga, Laying of Penang on Nava, some as I do have Drakali, but Punomas come in Pangadigi, have the plan, the Rogasa type of policy, Dubukana, socialism, Harris. As a summa, socialism as you Pukanaba Honorabiba, Lucing Basigi, Mar Congo Lirega, Quay Partisi, Pator Naba, Sandok Naba, by Wakalo Rosimiam. Parks and the Kangan Nabo Honaba, but you mean the Quena Tabu Masi Matsupna, Tongan Tongan Pomkayada, Palolis Panto Seveni. Joint Students Coordinating Committee to observe the death anniversary of Hijamira Bot. Joint Students Coordinating Committee, which is the apex body of AMSU MSF case in SUK, commemorated the day with the objective of following the ideals of Hijam Irabot, a leader who had fought and advocated for equality in the society. The student body also paid floral tributes to the photo of the leader. United Club Organization of Bisnupur District, a United of Unit of Amuko along with Amawawa anti-drug campaign Bisnupur district and Mapal observed the death anniversary of Lamyan Irabot with social service camp country plantation drive. Maibam Chingmang Welfare Youth Club, Ichum Kom Kairab Youth Welfare Club, Kobowok Ching Youth Welfare Organization, Hainobok Young Development Club and Senjabok United Wel Wel Welfare Club Iringbam Awang Lekai too participated in the camp. 
Chief Conservator of Forest Manipur L. Joy Kumar said it is impossible to review the exotic wildlife species if they go extinct. The Chief Conservator of Forest was attending a workshop held on wildlife crime prevention challenges, solutions and role of stakeholders organized by Manipur State Legal Service Authority in association with Aranyak. Chief Justice of High Court of Manipur Justice P. V. Sanjay Kumar and DGP of Manipur P. Dongel too graced the opening of the workshop as the main guest. Chief Conservator of Forest Manipur L. Joy Kumar further said the conviction rate as well as detention for cases related to wildlife crime is still low. Even if these cases are taken up in court, the trials took very long time and accused a failed to turn up in the court despite repeated summoning. As such, culprits do not think twice before committing wildlife crime, he added. Any vehicle or tool used in commission of offensive violent offenses are liable to be confiscated. And a further section for 2019 I have said, any vehicle or tool used in commission of violent offenses shall be the property of the state government. I don't know. Section animals in a control of the throat of the honorable Supreme Court. I have sent some order also. The Honorable Supreme Court has that vehicle involved in the mission of violent offense should not be released. May this stress that the power to release this uh, vehicle and the tools have been withdrawn from the magistrates. I will simply just mention the other word. I will say that I will report credit. Yes, report credit. I will just say credit. I will tell you all right now. There is a lot of other things. Condemnation over the state government's relaxation on liquor law continues. Kada Imphal West District Committee, Ningomba Mayai Maning Lekai Women Development Association and Kada Ningomba Unit Stage sit in at Ningomba Mayai Lekai Community Hall opposing the government's decision on liquor law and also demanding for withdrawal of the resolution. Slogans condemning the lifting of liquor prohibition and demanding government to withdraw cabinet's decision and to produce white paper on liquor legalization were raised during the sit-in. President of Apunbanupilo Bisnupur District, El El Pramo alleged that lifting of liquor ban means an attempt to wipe out the society and also warned that it will trigger a third Nupilal. Speaking at press meet held at the office of Apunba Nupilo, Bisnupur District at Bisnupur Tiam Lekai, El Pramo cautioned that starting from 1970, the women of Manipur have been at the forefront opposing and banning consumption, sale and production of alcohol. She also highlighted how women and children have to bear the burden when men consume liquor and assault family members when intoxicated. She cautioned that Apunbanupi Lubbisnupur district will launch intense form of agitations unless the government withdraw its decision on legalization. Vice President of the Lub, Napram Bimola, General Secretary Mongjam Anita and Organization Secretary Kaidem Pramo, Waikom Lembi too attended the press meet. Legalization to Rogani, you the Gipasata Laga, Papa you put Tokani Habaja, Karama you, Papa put Tokanda, Lebaki Tinjan Kanzanaba, Prasamo, Hingadori Bano, Sataki Punsi, the Manga Leiba, Imu Manunda, Masama Su, like Baba Maktaba, Masitopio, Masiting Bio, a quite Praza Punamanga, a quite Sarkari, my Gaida, a quite Punsi, the Katokani, a home Suvanupila, Labat Honda, the Matonari to Biganu, Maida Kuna Pibiganu. Aying mam piso ba santi yu ba iram dam mani puramo wen siya ba taragadi sarkar o kan tanat habak tobio siy dirbawo kung janga si sanchan jagani. Convener of Co-Coordinating Body of Scheduled Tribe Demand Committee, Manipur Laishram Ramesh Mite, fear that the Mite or Maite community will wiped out someday if the Indian constitution fails to recognize it as a minority community. He was speaking to media persons at a sit-in protest organized by SDDCM Kakching District Committee at Kairak. El Ramesh Mite further said it was unfortunate that the government still remains silent even though the committee has been pushing for demand over 
for over 10 years. The protester also shouted slogans demanding inclusion of Maitiramite in the ST list. October Thai Yokshalopaka and the deal. Nan Bahalenski Oiba, what men say Koi, Sangsan Gani, Hyden Sum, Laibasina, Karigumba Sarkar, Sina, Tabi the Vatargadi, Masi, Makal Makakayagi, Akanba, Yakai Tingai, Yauna, Akanba, October Gray, Anishuba, say all the Gidi, Koi Sangsan Gani, Hyose, Masigi, Sedun Tribe, Demand Committee, Gi, District Committee Sing, Unit Council Sing, Tongan Tongan, the Brand Sing, Club Sing, Mera Pibi Sing, Lady Bapunda Makta, Sedun Tribe, Demand Committee, Gimai Kadigi, Masi, Akanba Kongsan Sangsan, the Baikoi, Sam Sabi. Same Sadana, Akan Bukhunjan Sangregadi, Sarkar Se, Equi, Tararoi, Aduna, Mundana Setana, Constitution Gi, Kum Tupa Equi Rai Se, Equi, Lower Sea, Hive Se, Lam Dum Sigi Miam, Udo Hindona, Equi Mete Community Singa, Hil Dogzari. On the other hand, Scheduled Tribe Demand Committee in association with Youths a Forum Club and local Mayra Pai B2 stage a sit-in at Tera Tongram Laikai Mayra Sang. The sit-in demanded the government to send recommendation to the Center for Inclusion of Maite or Mite community in ST list. As many as 52 Ukraine police who were in the rank of head constables were promoted to assistant sub inspector. Superintendent of Police Ukraine Ningsem Vashum decorated the rank to promoted police officers. Speaking at the occasion, Ukraine Superintendent of Police Ningsem Vashum congratulated the newly promoted police officers on their promotion. He urged all to continue serving the force wholeheartedly and encouraged them to be a role model. The ceremony also witnessed performance by famed Tankul artist Guru Ruben Masangva, Pakmi Mahong and Ningsimfi Muiva. With no response from the BJYM and its mother organization, the BJP, the CSO's Kangpokpi, in connection with the K orphanage incident on September 16th, the CSO's Kangpokpi has started picketing the office BJP Sada Hills from today and they also continue its ban on any related BJP activities in Kangpokpi district. Speaking to media persons, the spokesperson of a CSO Kangpokpi, Thang Tinland Haukip, said that the, the decision to lock the office of BJP Sada Hills at Kangpokpi town and to continue the ban on any related BJP activities in the district has been taken in a joint meeting of the CSO's Kangpokpi following the expiry of the ultimatum today. He said caution the BJP, the mother organization of the BJYM, not to take lightly their movement but rather take serious note of the situation before things are blown out of hand. We'll look at the headlines once again. Manipur celebrates Myra Chauril Hauba which falls on first day of lunar month of Mira. And Chief Minister N. Birin launches flight service of Imphal to Tezu and Gohati. And site selection completed for construction of five-star hotel to be built with Tata Group, says Chief Minister N.B. Rain. And mass anti-drug drive carried out at Nacho Village. And Manipur locks two fresh infections a day after reporting zero case active caseload drops to 16. Thank you for watching ISTV English News. Have a very good evening. Goodbye for now.